Hello everyone. Uh, now that I've got my second edition of 2021 MLB preseason preview and predictions videos out of the way talking about the Chicago Cubs, I'm going to move on to the Houston Astros now. Um, the American League West was dominated by the Houston Astros between the years of 2017 and 2019 with the uh, the Houston Astros claiming three consecutive division titles and finishing with over 100 games each year. And as we all know, in 2017, the Houston Astros won the World Series, but that's, that's another story for another time. Um, but in 2020, though, the Houston Astros reeled from uh, um, fallout from said controversy with the 2017 World Series. And um, at the same time, they were also dealing with underperformance and injuries. Um, the Oakland Athletics ended up cruising to their first American League West title since 2013, and they ended up uh, they ended up beating out the Astros by seven games. So, um, looking at that stat, the Houston Astros are going to be um, they're going to be out to try and make a name for themselves this season. I hope uh, I hope it works. Um, the Houston Astros are also expected to top the American League West again, with um, their closest challenger being the Oakland Athletics. Um, something tells me, though, that there could be a challenge from uh, Mike Trout of the Los Angeles Angels, uh, the three-time American League MVP winner. And um, Joe Madden and the Los Angeles Angels, they've amassed a lot of talent over uh, uh, Trout's story career, but they've... Uh, they managed to underachieve I mean, ever since Trout made his debut. He's gone through several um, several different managers. Uh, who the manager was before Joe Madden came in, I don't remember what his name was, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, a little a little quick recap history lesson, however you want to call it. Excuse me. The uh, the Houston Astros finished. Uh, under 500 in the 60 game season from last year, they ended up going 29 and 31. Um, they got hot in the month of October and beat the Oakland Athletics and the Minnesota Twins, but they fell in seven games to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in the American League Championship Series. Um, going into the off season, though, the Houston Astros lost uh, George Springer to the Toronto Blue Jays, which it. Um, it pains me to hear and see that he's he's no longer in an Astros uniform. I never would have thought I'd see George Springer go to another team. Um, but uh, the Houston Astros are also on the verge of losing uh, uh, Framber Valdez for the season after fracturing his finger in a spring training game. Uh, the Houston Astros haven't made any big splashes in the offseason, but they've added some depth to the uh, to the bullpen. Uh, for example, soon after the Valdez injury, uh, Jake Odorizzi from the, I want to say from the Minnesota Twins, I want to say that's who he played for last season, um, he was added onto the roster, and uh, uh, minor league deals with uh, Steve Souza and Steve Ciszek were, uh, um, were part of the negotiations as well, as far as the uh, respective signings that the Astros have done. Uh, Steve Ciszek was with the, um, I want to say he was with the Chicago White Sox last year. The White Sox let him go, and he's he's basically traveled to every team possible, and either he's either on the main roster or he's in the farm system. Um, but one of the things I'm looking for this year as far as uh, the designated hitter is Jordan Alvarez. Um, he's going to be a welcome addition to the roster. Uh, because last year he only recorded nine plate appearances before undergoing arthroscopic surgery on both of his knees. And even though his recovery has been rather rather slow, uh, Alvarez hit um, 27 home runs in 87 games in 2019 and had a .314 batting average. Um, he made a spring debut in mid-March. So I'm looking to see I'm looking to see how he does this year in, uh, in the regular season. Um, the Houston Astros' window for contention remains wide open, um, despite, um, despite the departure of, um, uh, 
uh, key players like uh, like George Springer and uh, I think uh, there was another guy. I can't think of his name now, but uh, there was someone else on the team who uh, who ended up going in uh, free agency. Um, I should remember what his name is now, but again, I can't uh, I can't think of it though. Of uh, whomever, oh, uh, yeah, not George Springer. I think it was uh, uh, Chris Devers or Devers, however you say his name. Um, yeah, I think it was uh, you know, the pitcher by the name of Devers. I think that's how you say his name. He's gone, and um, I want to say there was another player as well who ended up going in free agency, but I don't remember what team it was that picked him up or who this person was. But anyway. Um, I mean, uh, with the loss of George Springer, that was, you know, that's, uh, that's going to be a hard press issue going into this season, uh, because he was the, he was the Houston Astros MVP in 2000, uh, in 2020, in my opinion. Uh, but on the other hand, the Houston Astros have the deepest roster in the American League West, and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to continue to, uh, find themselves in the contention picture for their uh, I think for their fifth consecutive trip to, uh, to the American League Championship Series, they're um, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with, in my opinion, even with the loss of some big name players. Um, but on the flip side, you have uh, you have the starting infield for the fourth year in a row making its return for the Astros. You have Yuli Gurriel, uh, Alex Bregman, Carlos Correa, and Jose Altuve, uh, and Michael Brantley at outfield. Um, but the Houston Astros also have emerging star players in, uh, you know, again, in Jordan Alvarez and also uh, Kyle Tucker, the outfielder. Um, as far as pitching goes, Lance McCullers Jr. is healthy. He was signed to a contract extension, and uh, he uh, he evolves into a, as he evolves into a rotation anchor. Um, you're going to have Jake Odorizzi to deal with. He was signed back in I want to say on March 8th. Uh, but overall, the pitching staff has taken some huge blows over the last couple of years. Um, Justin Verlander missed all of um, all of this season with uh, Tommy John surgery, and uh, Garrett Cole ended up signing with the New York Yankees after 2019. It still kills me that Garrett Cole ended up going to the New York Yankees. I didn't want to see him go. But... Um, uh, overall, the Houston Astros' success is going to begin with bounce-back seasons from uh, Alex Bregman, uh, Carlos Correa, Yuli, Yuli Gurriel, and uh, Jose Altuve. Uh, each of those four guys had a subpar performance at the plate in last year's uh, shortened season, but Altuve and Correa managed to rally in the playoffs, uh, helping Houston within a game of a World Series. Um... But uh, the Astros are going to continue to count on uh, uh, Jordan Alvarez to return to form uh, after he played in only two games last year and then ended up undergoing surgery. Um, his bad presence could go a long way to making up for uh, the lost production of George Springer. Uh, but like most clubs, pitching depth is going to be a big issue and staying healthy is going to be paramount. I hope... Um, excuse me, I hope, the, I hope the Houston Astros can... Do just that. Stay healthy. Um, bold prediction as far as the team MVP. Um, if not the team MVP, maybe runner-up for the American League MVP. Alex Bregman. Uh, Alex Bregman nearly won the American League MVP in 2019, fishing just shy of Mike Trout for second place. Um, but he, uh, he had a breakout 2019 hitting... Um, 41 home runs, 112 RBIs, 122 runs, 83 strikeouts, 119 walks, and a batting average of .297. So, like so many other star players around the league before him, he uh, slumped in 2020. Uh, but coming off a season in which he slashed a .242, .350, and a .451 batting average, uh, with six homers, 22 RBIs, and um, the span of 42 games. Um, I read somewhere in an interview, I want to say Alex Bregman gained about, I want to say he gained about 25 pounds, so that way he could be stronger through his swing. So maybe maybe that additional weight could help out in terms of uh, 
uh, in terms of his stance at the uh, at the plate. But I don't know. Uh, but early in uh, early in spring training, I thought I had heard or read somewhere that he was slowed down by uh, soreness in his left hamstring. But he's he's uh, motivated to show his performance uh, from last season that it wasn't a, uh, that it was all a fluke. So. Basically, he's looking to he's looking to go out and say what you saw in 2020 was uh, was a fluke. 2021 is an all new season. And you're going to see what I'm truly made of. Um, Jose Altuve, though, a three time batting champion, he easily endured the worst season of his career, in my opinion. Uh, he only had a .219 batting average, which was nearly, I want to say, 100 points below his career average. Um, Jose Altuve, though, didn't seem to be in, good, uh, in a good frame of mind, though, coming off a winter that was dominated by the fallout of uh, uh, the sign-stealing allegations from the 2017 season. Uh, he was nowhere close to the same player who won the American League MVP award in 2017, but um, he picked it up in the playoffs, though. I mean, his, his coaches and teammates are even saying he's back to his old self. And um, if spring training was any indication, he could be poised for a big rebound this year. Uh, one of the many questions going into this season is, could this be the last ride for many of the key contributors in the championship core from 2017? Uh, Chris Devensky was his name. I'm sorry, not Chris Devers. I think his name was Chris. Uh, Chris Devensky. I was close enough. But anyway, Chris Devensky, Roberto Osuna... George Springer and Josh Reddick. Um, they ended up leaving the Houston Astros this past winter. And uh, next offseason, the, uh, the Astros faced the potential free agent losses of Justin Verlander, Zach Greinke, Carlos Correa, Lance McCullers Jr., and uh, Michael Brantley, uh, who they were able to re-sign, so that's good. Uh, but on the other hand, the, uh, the Houston Astros also have Yuli Gurriel on a team option, and it seems likely that it will be declined. But if all these guys land elsewhere, which I don't think would be any good personally, uh, it's quite obvious that a, a massive drain of talent on the Houston Astros roster is something that the team does not want to see. Uh, but even, even having uh, Jose Altuve and Alex Bregman locked up long-term can't withstand that kind of uh, disinvestment in payroll. Excuse me. Um, a couple more predictions here, and then um, a quick, uh, quick rundown. I apologize if this video is a little bit shorter than my usual ones. Uh, for a projected lineup, um, I don't have any of that information. You know, it could all change, so I don't, I don't have anything as far as a projected lineup for you, like I did in my Chicago White Sox video. Uh, prediction number one. Uh, Houston Astros make the postseason. They're looking to. Um, uh, they're looking for their revenge this season. If they end up going up against another team where they end up getting eliminated, you know, <clears throat> like they did in the ALCS, I think they're going to. Um, I think they're going to try and make a name for themselves in 2021. Um, prediction number two: uh, their record. I predict they go 90 and 72. Uh, the last I saw the over and under was at uh, 85 and a half. I'm taking the over. Um, especially because right now with the return to form for the Houston Astros, that should happen this season. And that return to form is going to depend on the overall health and the performances of the roster. Uh, I mean, look at, um, I mean, for example, Justin Verlander. He's out after having Tommy John surgery in uh, September. And I want to say during spring training, he already resumed throwing. So. If he returns, which I'm hoping he does, it probably won't be for quite some time, though. Uh, the same goes for Framber Valdez, uh, another starter on the on the team who suffered a fractured finger earlier this month. Uh, he's healing, but he's uh, he's indefinitely sidelined. Um, so the way I see it, no Valdez, no Verlander, no good. Uh, the pitching rotation for the Houston Astros is projected to be. Lance McCullers Jr., uh, Christian Javier, uh, Jake Odorizzi, and uh, Zach Granke. Uh, Jake Odorizzi had 15 wins with the Twins in 2019. And uh, um, 
you know, as with the lineup, though, a rebound by big-name players is going to be key. I um, mean, Zach Ranke, for example, he was his record was 3-for-3 three three with uh, a 4.02 ERA and 12 starts. And um, uh, Zach Ranke, uh, not Zach Ranke, um, Lance McCullers went 3-for-3 three three and um, had an ERA in 2020 of 3.91. So... Um, overall, the Houston Astros have the talent to reach a third World Series in five years. Uh, but on the other hand, there are a few glaring weaknesses in regards to talent, and there's plenty of winning and championship experience on this roster. So hopefully, hopefully things pan out for the, um, for the Houston Astros. I believe they will. That's just me. Um, but, uh, overall, guys, that's really about all I have for, their, um, for my take on the Houston Astros. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Um, give a thumbs up on this video. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube page if in the event you already haven't done so. And keep an eye out for uh, Volume 4 of my 2021 MLB preseason predictions and previews video when I talk about the Boston Red Sox. So that being said, uh, keep an eye out for my Boston Red Sox video. Should that one get uploaded to YouTube after this one, or vice versa, whichever one happens first. And that'll, that'll do it for me. So in the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe, be well, have a good night, and I'm out. So that's really, that's really about it. Let's see what happens in opening day, which should be tomorrow afternoon, which is April Fool's Day. So, yeah, here we are. Yeah, here we are, March 31st. March 31st, I'm kind of on a time crunch trying to get all these videos done. But anyway, let me know what you think. Keep an eye out for my Boston Red Sox video. Check out some of my preseason uh, preview and predictions videos that I did from 2020. Uh, if nothing else, you want to watch those as well, go down memory lane. And uh, that does it for me. So I am out. I will... See you shortly after I get my Boston Red Sox video posted, and that'll do it for me. So, I'm out. Take it easy. Have a good night.